So the topic for today, uh, I want to discuss, it's a very important topic, especially for the United States, I would say, but not only. Uh, it's uh, spirituality, meditation, and uh, drugs. Not only medications, like natural drugs, not natural drugs, chemical drugs, like uh, uh, narcotics, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah, it's very important point because uh, it's a lot of misunderstanding here. Yeah, some people thinking they uh, uh, will take some, let's say, marijuana or like some other, or some ayahuasca, like uh, uh, for a few times and then going to be enlightened. It's not actually true because, uh, yeah, uh, your Kundalini goes up, you, uh, it's, a, it's like Viagra, you know, like temporary thing. Like, uh, it's not gonna bring you uh, stable, very good, like, uh, like, like, stable spiritual state of mind, spiritual knowledge is, uh, yeah, uh, it's just temporary thing, like all narcotics, like in the beginning you can feel up because of the hormones, hormones, like and stuff, the chakras works like, you know, like uh, much more intensive, everything much more intensive could be other drugs, you could be too relaxed, but uh, many people mixing it with real spirituality. It is, of course, uh, it exists, the very old ancient systems, like uh, from Ayurveda and from uh, pretty much in all cultures. Indian people, many people, like uh, they using some <coughs> herbs or whatever it is. Uh, to help to understand God, to understand something, to get like out of your mind, like to go above your mind. But uh, you should do it only with a very good master, very good guru, very good, uh, I would say, leader, you know, like uh, guide like, to, <coughs> to the God, to your soul. And it's supposed to be something additional, you know. It's not like you can't uh, jump from it. It's for helping you. It's like antidepressant. You take an antidepressant from depression, but it's not healing you really. It's uh, like your discomfort goes away for a while. And then when it goes away, you can do something for you to get out of depression. You should do it, not medication. That's why medication in the same time you need it, if it's really big depression, like real hard one. But in the same time, you, you, you can't apply, like, you know, you can uh, apply for it, yeah, you can, you can trust it, like, completely. You can't think, like, uh, I'm gonna wait till it's gonna work. It's not gonna heal you for real. If you're gonna stop taking it and you didn't do nothing about um, thinking why you have depression, what's the reasons, you know, it's not gonna, it, you're gonna have your depression again if you didn't do anything on a physical level, like anything. Same thing with the spirituality and drugs. So uh, if you don't understand in general by your consciousness, if you have low uh, 
level of consciousness, spiritual consciousness, knowledge, uh, and you're just taking it, uh, it does nothing to you. You don't know uh, what it does to you, like, when you took it, like, in what world you are, in what loka, in what, like, uh, I would say uh, they mention you are what to do with that and after that you feel even worse like uh, you don't know what to do after you know it's like chaotic thing but for the people who's like to do who's doing real sadhana mantras praying who is trying to be a good person better person trying to help people doing asanas, pranayama, any sadhana, praying, uh, working with the diet, uh, reading spiritual uh, books, holy books, speaking to gurus, many things, working on yourself, speaking to yourself, in trying to improve, so uh, it could be it's possible for some people not for all people for some people with a good guide to take some additional thing like or or mushroom like or not natural some chemistry thing to it might open something for you might help but uh, without real sadhana, without real guru, real understanding, like uh, real uh, before you stable, before you balanced on all levels, it's not going to be good for you. I'm talking about ayahuasca, but I'm not saying it's bad, I'm not saying it's good. You can't say like that, bad or good. So it's for somebody it's good, for somebody it's bad. So, but anyway, uh, especially who is starting to do yoga or uh, not only yoga, spiritual, esoteric things, but doesn't know much about it and just taking it like for fun, you know, like to, uh, like a drug for trip, you know, like you're going to the movies. You're not gonna, gonna go, you're not gonna grow spiritually, not really. In most cases you're going even more bad because it's more chaotic things. You might have scared of something new when you're there, in a different, you know, state of mind of consciousness in a different world you might be very scared so well, anything could happen to you and it could be some mental illness even especially if you uh, it's in you it's in your blood in, it's in, in your relatives you have something you know if you <clears throat> kind of ready for that if you was born like way that already and sometimes you don't know and when you take something when it's some mental illnesses like can go up like provocation you know And then in the most cases, people just uh, just went to the movies. But movies, uh, very rare you do damage to your mind. But some of them does. But from this kind of stuff, you could do a lot of damage. So I'm just, uh, I'm talking about myself also. I tried a few things and uh, I'm talking from my experience also, and I people from the yoga I know, uh, 
and same with alcohol, you know, with coffee, with different kind of thing, what changes you, like normal state of mind. I'm not talking about things like medication you should take and then in the kind of narcotics in and you but you you don't have a choice actually. Sometimes you have too much pain or something. I'm not judging you. I'm not teaching you. Telling you what to do in your life. You know? I'm just sharing and I'm trying to help you. <laughs> 